Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest World Tutorials. I'm Koichi GZ, and in this video, we are going to go over the S grade soul for uh, Grizzard. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I finally have everything. I actually had everything uh, for a bit now, and I actually didn't really notice. So, uh, going over here to our notices section, we're going to look over here. Let's see, down closer to the bottom regarding Grizzard. Uh. Where is he? Oh, okay, right here. So, uh, with Grizzard, um, so the S grade, S star grade soul, so the Awakened Soul is actually now available for, uh, this particular mega monster. So, uh, with this, uh, you need to collect three soul treasure pearls in order to actually do that. So, for more information, we can go right here. And this is in regards to, uh, Quest 13. So, for this, uh, for the actual Awakening of the Soul, you're going to need to do three things in order to, um, or a couple of things in order to be able to do this, uh, complete this task. So you're going to need three treasure soul pearls. Uh, you need to complete, uh, main quest three, the epilogue. And then you also need to have at least, uh, you need to have one S grade soul. So, uh, in terms of the actual, uh, treasure soul pearls, uh, you get one for completing the epilogue of chapter 13. You need to go 200,000 steps, and then you need to, um, after you have cleared chapter 13, uh, a special enemy on the field you need to actually defeat in order to get treasure pearl fragments. So, um, that's going to be on the field, and, um... Pretty much with this, I originally thought that this was going to be uh, the Killer Machine 2 that appears on the field and getting something from that. But actually, it is not Killer Machine 2. It's going to be uh, this other enemy. So that's going to be, let's see, in our Monster Index right over here. So this is going to be Super Tenksku. So uh, this particular monster is the one that you actually get the treasure pearl fragments from. So uh, defeating it, you get around six to eight fragments and you need 100 fragments in order to actually uh, complete uh, the task. So I actually do now have um, everything that I need. So what I want to do now is actually go over and get the actual fragment. So that's going to be in the exchange going here. So here you can see that I can get the soul. So I have uh, 636. So I have plenty in uh, to actually purchase. So with that, I will actually have now three. So with that, I should have um, uh, Grizzard available for uh, ready for actual upgrading in uh, the soul or in my uh, workshop. But uh, the first thing I want to do is actually go over the Grizzard soul uh, real quick since it's been some quite some time since we've last gone over it. So that's going to be a, let's see, blue soul. And Grizzard's going to be right here. So Grizzard, so this is going to be a blue soul. So main stats are going to be uh, max HP, some pretty good strength. So here 94, and then here plus 120 for both your agility and your dexterity. Then for the actual skills, we're going to see plus 12% to weapon skill damage, plus 5% to physical technique skill damage. Uh, let's see, plus 2% to weapon and physical technique skill damage. If it's cloudy, rainy, or snowy, you get plus 10% to hero resistance, and then you have actually a 5% chance of uh, reflecting back breath attacks. So that's actually pretty good. So now I want to actually upgrade this and we're going to see some of the differences. So going over back to our workshop. So over here, going to see what we can upgrade. So we can upgrade Grizzard. So here I'm going to go and upgrade this one here. So uh, yeah, so let's see what we get. So now I have awakened the Grizzard Soul. Okay, so now with that Soul Awakened, I actually want to go in and check to see what it's like. Um, actually, let's go back to our inventory. And right over, let's see. Actually, I need to change this to that there and with Grizzard. 
So right here, so you're going to see uh, some increases. So definitely, so now max HP is going to be 140. Uh, your strength is going to be 98. Then uh, your agility and your dexterity are going to be 124. And then another thing to mention, the uh, durability is actually not so bad either. So 93, so that's actually pretty cool. Then uh, here are uh, some pretty big changes um or actually three changes i believe or four changes so one you're going to get an added skill so kokudos so that's an, an attack that he actually does uh in the mega monster battle so i will go over that in this video uh you now have plus 13 percent to damage to weapon skill damage plus six percent to physical technique damage skill damage plus three percent to weapon and physical technique skill damage if it's cloudy rainy or snowy and then the other two uh stats are here plus 10 percent to shadow resistance is the same and plus five percent to uh reflecting chance of reflecting back breath attacks is also going to be the same so yes yeah, so um I actually want to equip this on a character and see what it's like so let's see I'll put that on actually you know what I'll put it on uh, my ninja here and uh, let's see er, let's see I'll substitute it with this one here ooh so that that's some pretty nice stats there okay good so now here real quick let's go and look at the skills so in the skills for my ranger or my ninja let's see kokudos should be right here oh wow so kokudos um looks here that probably i think this uh can actually vary in terms of uh your mp um but here it looks like it's almost half of my mp so 322 uh, mp so with Kokudos, what it says pretty much this is a uh, an attack that cannot be uh, reflected or um, pretty much uh, can't be reflected and it combines attack and magic power um, to do 300% shadow weapon damage uh, to all enemies. Then the damage that is taken uh, by the enemy, um, they actually get a resistance to... Um, uh, super uh, super attacks so this is going to be considered a super attack and this can actually only be used uh, once in a battle so uh, with that said I want to go and actually try this out okay so here let's get into a battle and let's uh, go right here okay this should be okay Let's see what happens. So here, oh, okay, my ninja goes first. So I'm going to actually try Kokudos just to see what it's like. So here again, going to do about 300%. Uh, he had a weapon damage, going to combine uh, my attack and magic power. And this cannot be uh, reflected, reflected or I believe even blocked, but here it says reflected. And I can only use this once per round or once per battle. So let's see what happens here. So this is Kokudos. Ooh, wow. Okay. So uh, here, if you're looking at the enemies, you can see here that they actually have a resistance to um, super attacks. So uh, with that, so yeah. So again, and again, if I go back to Ninja, I probably can't use this again, especially since uh, I don't have enough MP, actually. So actually, real quick, let's actually try... Let's give my ninja enough HP to try that again. So here again, going to try to do Kokudos again, but nope, because I can't, because I um, can only be used once per battle, I can't use it. So that's it there. So yeah, so that's going to be uh, the Kokudos ability. Okay, so that was uh, my um, review of the, or breakdown of the actual soul for uh, uh, S the uh, Grizzard Awakened Soul. So, um, Kokudos is something that actually could work. Um, probably, if I really need it in a pinch, uh, I would use it. But I think for the most part, I won't be using it. Um, since it costs so much HP and, or MP and I won't, can only use it once per battle. 
But um, yeah, I'm just glad that I actually did get finally get this. So uh, hopefully uh, at some point I will get the uh, S grade soul for Killer Machine 2. So please stay tuned for that in a later video. But with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.